What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Sagittarius zodiac sign. Sag, we are going to do the overall energy with the spell casting deck for you. They are wanting me to change it up, so we're going to change it up for you, okay? Let's see. Go for the overall energy of Sag, please. Passion. Okay, now I see why. Passion. And family is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's the underlying energy. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross if you need to. Please flip them. I tried to do your reading with the Psychic Tarot deck, but the message was not coming through clearly. So, I asked what deck did I need to use, and they led me to the spell casting. So, we're going to do the spell casting deck here for you. Uh, let's see. All right, clarify the energy of Sag, please. What is going on with Sag? King of Swords energy. Clarify the energy of Sag. Eight of Cups energy in reverse. Two more. Clarify the energy of Sagittarius, please. Six of Pentacles in reverse. One more. Clarify the energy of Sagittarius. Five of Swords. Now understand. Four of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. This is why I understand because I was doing the, uh, the reading with the uh, psychic tarot card and I couldn't get the message clear. So I said, OK, let me scratch that. Let me what what do I need to do, spirit? And spirit led me to the spell casting deck. So I, I'm redoing your reading completely. This passion card. is the overall energy. There's this flame, there's this burning flame, this burning passion, desire, want, need uh, for a situation here, okay, for someone. This energy, I, I don't think this is your energy because when I was doing the other reading, I was picking up, it, felt, it didn't feel like your energy, it felt like somebody else's energy, okay. This is someone that you have cut away from. We have the King of Swords energy. You made a head over heart decision. You could be dealing with an air sign, okay, and you guys know I normally don't do this, but... Uh, this is this is where they're wanting me to go in detail. Okay, so this King of Swords energy, air sign. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, this is someone that you've cut away from, or that you've went through some type of legality where it was like a divorce or a separation or a child support court or something like that. There's some type of situation where you had to make a head over heart decision, where you had to take control and cut somebody away. Okay, you had to distance yourself from this person here to become more clear minded here because something was going on. And again, I feel like it has a lot to do with your family or uh, your children or like an ex or, or somebody that you have kids with because we have the family court. Okay, um, but there's a hidden energy here. And the reason I say hidden energy is because the four of pentacles is underneath. This is like a twin flame energy. Yep, I, I freaking knew it. Three of cups. Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Energy, Four of Pentacles. There is somebody that's wanting a reconciliation and they cannot get you out of their mind, Sag. They cannot get you out of their mind. They want to come back because we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. They're wanting to come back. They don't want to abandon this connection. They want this connection to come back together. But it's like they don't quite understand how to bring this back okay with the six of pentacles being in reverse they don't quite understand how to bring this back together or how to approach you and how to speak with you um, because again you're you're you've cut them away or uh, the communication is cut there there's no talking there's no communication you guys basically have your backs to each other you are both on your throne as of the stubbornness as of no I'm not talking to them to them unless it's about the children or no I'm not talking to them unless it's about finances or, or something like that like there's um some type of relationship that has been cut away and somebody's wanting the other person okay is what i'm getting now the five of swords is here so this is like self-sabotage so this is why they can't they it's like they don't know how to communicate this to you that's why they're keeping it to themselves with this four of pentacles energy because they don't know how to come forward they don't know how to talk to you they don't know how to um, approach you is more of what it is they don't know how to approach you and to let you know that they have this burning flame for you that 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 won't go out it's like one of those um <laughs> it's a candle it's like one of those candles thank you one of those candles you know how you put a candle on the cake and it's one of those trick candles you're trying to blow it out but it lights back up and that's the passion that they have for you Sag that's the passion they have for you and they may not have noticed this at first, but now they know that you are their twin flame. You are their person. 
and they're, they it's like they kept trying to come through through the reading but I couldn't clarify I was like what the hell is this what is this so let's see let's um here for the eight of cups in reverse yes see they want to approach you but they know that they can't come forward unless they have something strong and something stable to offer you they want to come forward but they don't know how you're going to react like they they they, they there's unsureness there like they want to approach you and they want to say hey you know I haven't I, I can't get you off my mind I've been thinking about you I want to build something with you but the page of Pentacles is the, is the energy of doing the research and not being sure how things are going to turn out but they want to approach it and you want to try it you have hope in it you have this opportunity where you're thinking yes this could be very successful it has an opportunity to be successful but they don't quite know how to approach you and again if this isn't your person's energy then this is your energy but if it's not your energy it is your person's energy and what I'm feeling what I feel I don't feel it's yours Sag bottom of the deck is the lovers yeah letting me know exactly what I was picking up on this is someone that's choosing to want to love you but they just don't know how to come forward and I don't know why they're being so strong tonight what the hell could be the wine that I drank I'm sorry because I'm not gonna lie I've been sipping all night hmm But you're reading, Sag, was very intense. Like I kept, I did, I tried to do your reading twice. And each time I did your reading, I couldn't, cl I couldn't clarify what the hell was going on. It was like somebody was wanting to rush in and then somebody wasn't wanting to rush in. It was like, I got the Knight of Swords, but then I got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And it was like, what the hell, are, what is going on here? So then I said, okay, Spirit, tell me what do I need to do? And then they said... I asked, do I need to switch decks? Spellcasting came in my head. So I said, okay, let's do it. And here we are. So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. Knight of Cups. See, they want to come forward. They want to offer you this love. They want to offer you this hope and this opportunity. They want to bring you their cup. And, and, and they want to love you again. They want an equal give and take relationship they want another opportunity with you but they realized in the past or they realized before that it wasn't equal give and take at all that they were taking advantage they were taking advantage of you sorry I thought I felt something on my foot <laughs> they were taking advantage of you but now they want to come back but they realize five of swords that there has already been some losses here and they also feel with the seven of cups being on the bottom of the deck they feel that you have other options and other opportunities available but, but they want you they want you now I can't say if you want them Sag but again we all have free will so here for the five of swords energy for Sag two of cups I told you this energy was so freaking strong it was ridiculous like it was it was a bunch of confusion every time I tried to do your reading and for this to finally come out thank you thank you spirit I'm so glad that it's coming out because this person is madly in love with you this two of cups energy they want stability with you king of pentacles they want this so bad and with you not talking to them it's driving them insane it is driving them insane they now realize that this is what they had with you family that when they came home they had family when they were with you it was family that you put them on a pedestal and made them made them feel whole but now they realize without you they feel empty and they want to rekindle this again the passion that they have for you is still there yeah love unconditional love Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. They're still madly in love with you, Sag. They're not saying it because, again, it was the Four of Pentacles. This is what's in there. So you may, you may not even know this. This person loves you dearly. The clock. Need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Okay? Even as time has went on, they cannot seem to forget about you. They think about you every every moment that they that they get. Like the passion is still there. When they see you, when they see you, they they are heavily attracted to you. Okay, when they see you, they're like, damn. You may not even see them. They could be in the store, and they may not even come up to you because they don't know know what to say. Like this attraction is crazy, and I get it. Some of you don't even want this person back. 
I completely understand that. But others, they want you back, Sag. Yes, ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. They want to come forward and they want to offer this union. They want to try again. Okay, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. They could have been dealing with a karmic relationship, and it's now made them realize that you were their true love, that you were their twin flame. Because now they don't receive their karmic justice, right? <laughs> okay, they could have got into a relationship with someone else and realized that the grass was not greener on the other side as well. But now they're wanting to come back and they're wanting to rekindle this. For some of you, this is somebody that you may actually want to talk to again. But for others of you, this may be someone that you don't even give two fucks about anymore. Okay? But they have not forgotten about you. And it's crazy that they wanted this to come out so bad. Okay? Because it kept coming up in the reading. I wasn't even trying to do a love reading. I was trying to do a reading about career and money and things like that. But this energy kept interrupting. So I had to get it out there. Sag, <laughs> okay, this is your reading. <laughs> I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. And don't forget to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. I would definitely love to have you here. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.